Hey, I have just a little bit of time before I have to meet with somebody, but I just want to take this time to explain the, the concept of the coefficient of linear expansion or volume expansion. Um, it's very much like the coefficient of friction, you know, and when we talked about friction earlier, we, we talked about, you know, the surfaces holding against each other and, and each surface, you know, had a different coefficient. Um, and that coefficient is just that number um, that tells us the amount of stick, you know, the stickiness of the two surfaces and the amount it's going to hold back a little bit. And this is really a, 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 the same idea. It's just a, a, an amount that when you multiply the, the, the length of the object by this amount per degree that it goes up, you're going to get an amount of, of expansion. That's really all it is. It's not a big deal. Um, I think the, the biggest trouble you're having is deciding which formula to use. Um, and I'll show you real fast what these, what these are like. Um, we have uh, alpha, which is the coefficient of linear expansion. And that's equal to... Um, the change in the length, that's the difference in the length, that's how much it's grown because of this, this coefficient, uh, divided by the original length of the object times the change in temperature. And uh, give me one second, Dylan, I'm going to finish this video and then I'll get right to you. And then beta, that big weird looking B, is a uh, uh, volume expansion and it has the same idea it's the change in volume over the original volume times the change in temperature and, and that's really it and everything stems from here if you want to find any answer for number three and number four of what you just did